All right. We are in the festive cup tournament. We're in Wednesday's qualifying round in the rookie division. And we are on hole number five. So let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number five. Oh, man. we got to get an eagle on this hole. So we're going to come at this with a... Uh, with our very accurate club so that we can try and lay up right at this point and then we're going to go straight at it with a hornet. We're going to want to bring the best ball that we can bring um, to help us get in the absolute best spot on that layup and to give us the best shot to put it in the hole. And we're going to need our We're gonna take a rock and our hornet, and those are the only two clubs that we should need. We're not even gonna bring our putter. And if we do bring a putter, it's gonna be the basic one. I prefer the basic putter. <laughs> All right, let's get matched up here. Let's go get an eagle on this hole. This is a hole you, I mean, you, you have to get an eagle on this hole at least once in the opening round at least once in the final round. You're going to see that person that's up there at the top and this is going to be a hole that they're going to have eagled at least once around if not twice around. I'd like to pick this one up right here. So my Hornet is 1-1-1-9-2-2. One, 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 two, two. So when we get to that Hornet shot, but we gotta put this drive shot out there and play in the right spot and not do what our opponent did. And they'll be able to easily make it from there. Okay, so we're right at the red line. Do maximum curl and about two topspin. We don't need a lot of topspin here. We're going to take the wind out of it. This club's 100% accurate, so it's one per ring. So there's a two ring pull. And we're going to put just a little bit of right hand curl, just enough to make sure it goes in that direction. And we're doing it for that shot right there. So if we hit a great shot to the left when it hits, now that side spin takes effect and it'll push it out there into the fairway. We went just a titch longer than what we'd like to go, but we're all right. So if I hadn't put that little bit of curl on there and I hit that great, I hit that great shot to the left, you take the risk of it does its first bounce on the other side of the sand over here. And then from that spot to the next spot, the, the side spin takes effect. So it pulled us back out into the fairway. If we hadn't put that little teeny bit on there, it's possible that we could have hit the rough. They'll be able to easily make it from there. All right, but we need to make it from right here. So where are we? There's minimum, there's maximum. So we're right at mid club. So we're at the one nine per ring. We're going to put just a little teeny bit of backspin on it. We don't need a lot of backspin here. You can see that little teeny tail. We're going to try and get it right at the hole. We're at 1-9, so that's 3-8, so we're going to go a ring and a half. And then we need to hit perfect. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh, that's a heartbreaker there. So that means where we're at in our club, we're not quite to mid. So we might be more towards the top. So we may do want to do, I'm going to make a note here because I've been ending up in that same spot. I'm going to make a note here to make a 1-5 wind ring adjustment instead of a 1-9. So my Hornet's normally 1-1, one, 1-9. One, one, Two two. We're gonna do a one five because we've been in that same spot several times where we've hit it perfect, 
and we're not taking out enough weight. I'll go back and watch the video on that and see which direction it's going and I'll work a number. But if you lay up out into that spot out there, you give yourself a nice run up. If you like to horn it, if you like a thorn, it'll still work that same area. It'll still work for a thorn. And you got lots of green to work with. I have eagled that hole I don't know how many times and we're not on we're not on uh, pace with it here so but we're early in the week Let's see if our opponent does good here them win we will donate some money to the cause all right good luck in the tourney that was hole number five of the festive cup in the ricky qualifying round thanks for watching